Hello everyone, welcome back to TechTech.com. In this short video, we will solve a problem which is based on closure of a attribute, and the problem is something like this: a set of functional dependencies are given, and we have to find out which one of this given option is false. So we have to note that they are asking which one is false. Okay. Now let's start checking one by one. So before you check, you have to arrive to the false option. So you can start like there may be uh, a condition when you start checking and you get fourth option as false. So all the th all all of the fourth you have to check. Fine. Right? So rather than doing this, we can do a, a quick scan and see from which we should start. And sometimes it may be helpful. And it is as it is not going to take much time, so we can always make a practice like this so if you see for cf plus and for af plus that is closer of cf and af this the both are same right so somehow intuitively you can notice that or you can think that maybe one of them is false so it may not be true but why not start with them so let's start with cf plus closer of cf Okay, so as we have learned how to find out closure of a attribute that is uh, x closure, so we will use our concept. So to revise, what do we do? Basically, we see or we try to find out what are the attributes which can be determined with the help of this attribute c and f, right? So that we will see here. So we have c and f. So by using this functional dependency, we can determine g. As he determines g, so we can always determine g. Fine. And from recle reflexive rule, we know that cf can always determine cf. Okay, so cf is already there. Now this c can determine g, so g will be there. Now f can determine e, so e will be there. Okay. Now let's see this g can determine a so now we have a now we will see a and b this will not work because we don't have b here now a and f this will work because we have a and f so n a and f collectively can determine d so now we also have d in our set so now let's see this is d and e so Oh, this should be E, right? Okay. Yes. So now, as we know from D and E, D and E collectively can determine F. So D, this D and this E can collectively determine F, which is already there. We need not to worry. So this is all. So, yes. So it means we have A, B. No, B is not there. Sorry. A, C, D. E, F, and G, right? So we have already in this option. So this option is correct. So this this option is correct. But as per the question, this is not our answer. So now let's go and check about A F closer. As we know that from reflexive rule, A F can determine A F. Now from this, F can determine E. So we have. E here. Now, this let's say this A and F. A and F can determine D here in this functional dependency. Using second functional dependency, we can see that A F can determine D. So D will also be there. Now, A B we don't have B here. A F we already used D E we already have F. Now C is not there, so this functional dependency is useless. F Using f, we can determine e, which we have already done. Using g, determines a. We cannot use because we don't have uh, here. We don't have g here. So now we cannot determine determine anything. And this is what is a f closer. Fine. So this is a f closer, and the option given is this one. So this is false. False means this is as per the question our correct option. Okay, 
So likewise, we can go and determine closure of a attribute that is x closure. So I hope you understand it. If you have a new question on this, please ask your question in doubt section. We will be answering it. So thanks for watching.